Today we just wanted to show you a clever idea we had. Um, we've just been shopping at our local thrift stores. Goodwill, this plate was 99 cents. It's originally um, this pretty nice brand that you can get from Macy's. So we've got more of a salad plate and then a dinner plate. So $3 total for the plates. And then another thrift store we found this wooden candlestick. So we are going to paint this and then put the two together like this and it will make a tiered stand. So I just wanted to show you these. That's what we're gonna start with. The paint we're going to use, um, I like to use these bare sample paints. They are pretty cheap and then you can do a lot of projects with them. And see if I can read the color for you here. Um, it's just a color match actually. I had this matched to some chairs I have down in my office. So, um, but it is pretty close to this color here. So I'm just going to uh, mix up some salt wash here and then we'll show you painting the candlestick. Okay, you all know I like to have my things textured and worn, kind of the beachy look. So we're gonna use salt wash today. So here's the salt wash. It is a, a powder mixture that you mix into your paint. You can mix it in any brand of paint. The ratio is one part paint to three quarters part salt wash. So we don't need very much paint today because the candlestick isn't very big. So I'm just gonna do about that much here. We'll see how far that gets me. And just pour it right in. The salt wash powder does have a little blue hue to it, um, but when you mix it in with your paint, it's completely colorless, so don't worry about that. And just mix this up all the way. Now, if you're wondering what the right consistency for salt wash is, it should be thick, like a thick batter or a thick frosting. We're just gonna keep mixing it here, and if we need to add a little more paint or a little more salt wash to get the right consistency, we'll do that. I'm just gonna make sure all the powder is mixed in though. Okay, that looks perfect. It's really thick. You're going to paint this onto the candlestick in a glob-like motion. So this is another reason I love salt wash. You can't really grow, go wrong with it. So you're just gonna dab it on. And do you see those high peaks? You're, that's exactly what you're going for. You just wanna dab the whole thing. And load up some more paint here. This will be the um, bottom layer of the paint. We're going to do a top coat of white. So this layer is the glob layer and then the white is going to be just painted smooth on top and you'll see what kind of effect that has when we sand. It's going to pull this blue layer up from the bottom. Looks really cool and aged. So really, like I say, you can't go wrong with salt wash. It's just kind of know, sloppy painting. You are painting with a purpose, but it doesn't really matter what it looks like at this point. You're just globbing it on, making sure all of it's covered. This is gonna be tricky that I don't get paint on my hands. And once the whole candlestick has been painted, we're gonna let it dry, not completely, but mostly. And then we're gonna take the paintbrush and smooth down some of these ridges. So I will finish painting this and then I'll come back on and show you the smoothing process and we'll go from there. Okay, the candlestick has dried. I decided to put it on a paper plate so I could get the rest painted without getting too goopy. It's kind of stuck on there nicely, so that's handy. Um, so you can see the ridges here. 
the paint is still a little bit wet, but it's mostly dry. And the next step, you're gonna just take your paintbrush and kind of smooth down those ridges a little bit. You don't want them to be gone completely. You're just trying to not have them quite so tall. And then you'll let it um, dry completely before we do the next step. So hopefully you can see what that's done a little bit here. Just smooth those peaks down a little bit, but it's still nice and textury. So we'll let that dry all away and we'll come back and show you the next step. All right, this has fully dried now. It's kind of stuck to the plate, which is handy. because then I can paint around and not worry about being sloppy. Got some chalk paint here in a white. And this layer we're gonna paint nice and smooth. And then get in all of these little small parts first of the spindle. And then we'll smooth out the surface when we're all done. I'm just gonna make sure the paint gets in really nice. Kind of have to push the paint in here where it's and cover all the blue. Then you want to just go around your piece and make sure it's nice and smooth. Make sure there aren't any runs anywhere. Let that completely dry and we'll show you the final step. Once the candlestick has completely dried, we'll do the final step for the salt wash and that is sandpaper. Really, this is the most uh, crucial step to salt washing because this is gonna give you all your depth and dimension. So you can see here some of that blue color starting to show through. We're just gonna do that over the whole candlestick and then it will be ready to get glued onto the plates and we will have our spin. make sure that all of the paint is sanded off of this first so that the adhesive will stick so I'll just do that really quick all right I've got the whole thing sanded now I got off as much of the paint as I could off of the top and the bottom um, I have also marked where the middle of the plate is so I know where to put this we're gonna use this Gorilla Glue here and secure it to the plate Trying to work quick here so it doesn't dry on me. All right, I'm trying to make sure that the glue is pretty level. Then I'm going to center this on the plate. Just kind of eyeball it here. And then I'm gonna push down really hard. I'm gonna let this cure first, then I will put glue right here and then put the top layer on. 
and I'll show you the finished product when we're done. Okay, here we have the finished tiered tree. Look how cute it is all decorated up. So I'm, I'm gonna just take off these decorations here so you can see what it looks like all finished. We, again, we just used the Gorilla Glue and it holds up nice and sturdy. So that was a pretty simple DIY thing. Cheap plates from a thrift store and that was also a candlestick from a thrift store. Um, you can do this with any plates, any candlestick. You can actually buy um, little hardware pieces. You could drill through the plate and have them screw together and you could make a three-tiered one if you want. But this one was pretty simple, pretty inexpensive. Um, the total cost, we paid $2 for the big plate, $1 for the small, and $2 for the candlestick. So $5 craft and it looks really good.